This is the new Skoda Superb. When I say new, it's more been given a significant midlife refresh. A bit like taking your dad shopping at Abercrombie & Fitch. Anyway, here are the car wow top 10 things you need to know about the 2020 Skoda Superb. The new Superb gets a larger double slat front grille that sticks down a little bit further into the front bumper. Speaking of which, that bumper has been redesigned too. Meanwhile, at the rear, there's a new chrome strip which connects the tail lights and the Skoda lettering on the boot. But which do you think looks the best? The new Skoda Superb, the Mazda 6, the Peugeot 508, or the Volkswagen Passat? A first for Skoda are these LED matrix headlights, which give you different lighting modes for different situations. They also blank out part of their beam, so you can have the lights on high without worrying about dazzling other drivers. There's now also cool looking swishing LED indicator lights at the back too. Wow, just like on an Audi from 2015 then. Petrol power comes in the shape of a 1.5 litre with 150 horsepower and two 2 litre engines with either 190 or 272 horsepower. The lower power petrol is available as a manual or an automatic, but the high power versions are only available as autos. Meanwhile, the diesel engine lineup consists of a 1.6 TDI, a 150 horsepower 2 litre TDI, and a top of the range 190 horsepower 2 litre TDI. The highest powered petrol and diesel cars can come with four wheel drive. This Superb is Skoda's first foray into electrification with the launch of a plug in hybrid model due at some point in 2020. It's called the Superb IV because if you've got a car with electric power, it's totally logical to give it the name I. Though this IV name does make it sound like a way for administering drugs. Anyway, the hybrid is powered by a 1.4 litre TSI petrol engine, working with an electric motor for a combined power output of 218 horsepower, and it has an electric only range of around 34 miles. A smart cruise control system is available in the Superb for the first time. Called Predictive Cruise Control, it uses images from a front-facing camera and details from the satellite navigation system to detect speed restrictions and sharp bends, so you can automatically adjust the car's speed in anticipation. Basically, it's like having a backseat driver telling you to slow down the whole time. Skoda has made a name for itself in providing smart use of stuff in its cars, such as umbrellas in the doors and ice scrapers in the fuel filler cap. In the new Superb Estate, there's now a flexible organizer which sits underneath the false boot floor and is where you can securely store all kinds of stuff. The Superb will go on sale in September and while prices and specifications have yet to be fully revealed, expect the new car to cost a little bit more than the current Superb which starts at around £22,000. So to see how much you could save on a new car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right hand corner of the screen to see the best offers from our trusted CarWow dealers. You can now get a Scout version of the Superb. This doesn't mean it's been designed by Baden Powell and likes helping old ladies across the road. Instead, it has slightly raised suspension and some extra body cladding to protect the paint from bushes, brambles, and more likely, runaway shopping trolleys in the supermarket car park. It also gets all wheel drive and some Scouty interior upgrades. Just about every Skoda is known for having a massive boot, and that's certainly true for the Superb. The saloon has about 20% more space than a Ford Mondeo, but for this upgrade, Skoda has done absolutely nothing to the boot. It's the same size as before, 625 litres, in case you care. If a Superb is a little bit big for you, how about a Skoda Citigo, which is electric powered? Once again, this is called the IV, and it's Skoda's first all-electric car. It's a little five-door runaround suited to the city with a 61 kilowatt electric motor and a range of about 160 miles. That's further than you can go in a Volkswagen Ea, thanks to the Skoda having a greater battery capacity. The car won't go on sale until next year, so pricing and specification are some way off. If you enjoyed this video, please click on our logo to subscribe to this channel or to watch more content on the bottom right-hand corner. However, if you want to save money on a car, click on the right to go to our deals page to see how much money you can save at CarWow.